Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. I'm a web developer and a WordPress blogger. I make WordPress and Elementor tutorials for beginners. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In today's video, I want to show you how you can do some complex conditional logic stuff with Elementor Forms and Dynamic Content Plugin. This video is brought to you by the people behind Dynamic Content Plugin. I'm making a 10 part series for dynamic content plugin. This is the second one of them. And apart from the 10 videos that I made earlier, these are other 10. So you'll be learning each and everything about dynamic content plugin. Let's see and let's see how we can implement complex conditional logic stuff into our element forms just by using dynamic content plugin coming up. Now on typical business websites, when you have a form, they won't give you all the fields to submit immediately. They'll ask you for a couple of things and if the criteria falls under the thing that can be submitted as a ticket, only then they'll accept your form submission as a ticket and process that. This helps users find what they're looking for and this also helps companies reduce the wait time for supports so let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I have a customer and he may be contacting me for various reasons. So one of them can be SEO and other thing can be hosting and maybe another thing can be regarding marketing. Well, I'll just add a select menu. I'll click on add field, click select from the drop down and the label will be menu. So based on what he picks here, so I have different options. One is SEO. The another one is hosting and let's say the third one is marketing just to give you an example or choice let's call it choice menu or choice doesn't matter i'll also change the id to choice now when he picks seo i'll just show him a template so that if he wants to pick from or he, he can actually read about seo from most of the resources on my site before submitting a ticket so i'll just click HTML from here you might be wondering how will HTML help I'll show you that in a bit so I'll pick HTML I'll say resources actually that's not visible and when you hover over this there's a dynamic tag for HTML so you just click on that scroll down under dynamic content you just click on template now like I told you if he picks on SEO I just want to show him some of the pre-built resources or useful resources so that he can actually view the resource himself and solve his problem before contacting support. So I'll just click on template and here I'll just enter space. It will show all the templates and I just created a template for maybe hosting links or something like that. So I'll just click on that and if he picks SEO, this template will be shown to him. And if he picks anything else, we'll redirect him to any, something else. So I'll just click on resources again under condition. I'll just change it to show if I'll just toggle this on and off once field ID choice equals let's say hosting. So if the user picks hosting, I'll show him a couple of I'll show him a template actually where he can actually click on each of the icons and go to that particular page to learn more about that before submitting a ticket. So that's really neat. Let's see how that works. So I've updated it. I'll just click on the eye icon to view the preview. So here it is. And the condition is choice updated. Now let me fill in my name, email. And when I pick hosting, you can see that template is shown. This is a very cool way to eliminate unnecessary requests. If the resource is already present in your documentation site, maybe you can link it up in this HTML template. So that's one way to do it. Now, also, if the user picks anything else other than the hosting, let's say if he picks SEO, I'll just redirect him to a page on my site. So I'll just click on actions after submit. I'll remove email and under redirect, I'll not redirect him, but rather I just want a conditional redirect or in other words, if his choice matches my criteria, only then I'll redirect him to that particular page. So I'll just click on dynamic redirect, again click on dynamic redirect, I'll add an item and the field is choice and the value 
should be a CEO. So I'll just redirect him to a page on my site if he picks SEO and clicks on submit. Otherwise, I won't redirect him. Or maybe I can redirect him to my home page. Let's do that. So if choice is valued, which means if he picks anything else, and this works based on top down approach. So it'll look for the first condition. If that matches the user criteria, it'll redirect him to that page. If it doesn't, it'll come to the second condition and looks for it, and then it matches it does what you specify in here so if he picks a value i'll just maybe redirect him to a home page which is my home page so i'll just update this even the preview gets updated so there's a preview and let's say i just pick hosting from here and let's click on send and you can see that it actually redirected me to my home page let's go back again let's fill the details and let's leave SEO as is and let's click on send and watch what happens now it actually redirected me to another page so based on the values in my select menu or in my choice drop down I'm actually redirecting him to different pages so let's say if he's looking for help on hosting I can redirect him to hosting or if he's looking for pre-sales questions I can redirect him to a pre-sales page with a live chatbot option. So that's really powerful. And you can do all this with dynamic plugin and with the dynamic redirect. Isn't it cool? And it also works with standard redirect. So if none of the conditions match, you can also have a normal redirect. So even this will work, but dynamic redirect again, based on the values that he picks you can redirect him to anything so if i pick hosting i'm actually showing the template if i'm picking something else i want to redirect him but before redirecting him i also want to show a couple of complex logic so let's say if the choice is seo or other so if he doesn't have issue his issue listed out in the drop down menu he can pick other and once he picks other I'll show him an acceptance field where he has to click that field to tell us that he did he have tried he has tried everything else and it still didn't work out. So I'll have an acceptance field and search for acceptance field and label is not mandatory. So I'll just type I have tried everything above. He has to check this box. I'll give it an ID of accept. We can actually remove the label. The label is not required. He just needs to click this and I'll only show this if the field ID choice is equals equals to other now once he picks this once he checks this box again i want to finally let him describe his issue so i'll add a new field this time it will be a text area and i'll call it describe your issue let's give it an idea of issue now the condition will be show if toggle this on and off one if the accept field is checked sorry i accidentally press that so if the accept field is pressed, that means if the accept field is checked, click on the operator, I have to scroll down, click on is checked. So if the accept field is checked, only then I'll show the value is not necessary because is checked is self-sufficient. He clicks, he checks this box, you get this describe your issue comment box, else he won't get it. Let's see that. In action I'll update this I'll click on preview now for SEO I don't see anything let's say he picks other he gets the checkbox he clicks on the checkbox again he gets to describe his issue he removes the checkbox he won't be able to describe his issue so that's a really neat so this is a great way to filter everything that the user really needs so if he needs hosting you can give him a template showing important links to hosting you can put any template in here it doesn't matter it can be any element or template. You can pick any of the templates that you have on your website. So that's really neat. And this is how you support complex logic and redirect users based on the choices that he picks or show him contextual options based on the options that he's looking for on your site, all from within the same page by using dynamic content plugin and Elementor Pro form. Hopefully you understood how to do complex conditional logic without 
you having to write any complex code. You just have to mix and match the conditional logic with the dynamic redirect and also use various conditions and visibility conditions. That's how you can achieve pretty complex stuff. This is highly helpful to reduce the support requests and also provide users with the information that he really needs. That's it. The, that's a quick overview of what you can do with the conditional logic and dynamic redirect of dynamic content plugin. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you if you're new to the channel. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.